Hello friends and welcome to Outside Xbox, you're watching Show of the Week, I'm Mike. And I'm Jane. Hi friends, welcome. So you're back, your little yeah. Netflix series didn't work out well, then. The Jaina, yeah, it got cancelled didn't it? Mm. There was a petition to have me replaced with Henry Cavill. Right. And then a petition to have the original cut of the first petition released. Okay. And then a petition to boycott further petitions and then I got bored and came home. I mean that seems fair. So, yeah, but I am working on a new pitch oh, yeah? for a new show. Mm -hmm. Change your things. Oh my god, will yeah? you stay out of my ideas no, no. I'm I'm starting a petition for you to stop stealing my ideas. Mm. How did it go last week while I was off yeah, pitching to powerful TV executives? <laughs> uh, we were joking about how all the games coming out this year were going to get delayed. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And then Avengers and Final Fantasy VII Remake got delayed. Oh no, you made it happen. I know. So I was thinking this week maybe right. we could joke about how I'm going to win the lottery. Mm, yes. Or, or we could talk about um, Journey to the Savage Planet coming out. That seems more feasible. All I think right. that might actually happen. Fine. Yeah. We've played a bit of Journey to the Savage Planet, haven't we? Oh, um, yeah. You can watch a Let's Play, actually. Yeah. It's like raw, unfiltered gameplay. It was real, real fun, actually. Yeah. I enjoyed myself. There you go, look. Wow. Whoa. Oh, we made it to the title screen, Jane. Yes. Doesn't always happen. That's like the, Holly <laughs> the Hollywood sign of this yeah. planet. So if you're not aware of the game, uh, it's a sort of like budgety game. It's about 25 quid, um, but it's beautiful. <laughs> I, like, a lot of people don't care about the, the price. price. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fair. That's fair. Um, okay. But it's it's sort of like uh, I described it as kind of like No Man's Sky, but with things to do, which is a bit bit mean of me. It's a but first person exploration first person adventure on a planet that is savage. Yeah. <laughs> It is savage as and well. And brightly coloured. Yeah. And gooey. Mm. Covered and with in weird gravity and, and things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and very exotic flora and mm -hmm. fauna. There's a lot going on. Resources, um, crafting. Yes, resources, crafting. Bit of metroidvania -y sort of building things to get to different areas and mm. things like that. Uh, but it's lush and like really kind of punching above its weight for a game that's made by quite a small studio. Um, and, and that doesn't cost that much. So I think it's a bit of a treat for the start of the year. Yeah. Also, it's coming out literally on my birthday. So it's a treat specifically for me. Thank you very That's much. That's a sly little reference there. Uh, Mike's angling I for birthday presents. I expect your gifts presents. are already on the way. Yeah. Um, Get ready to get one million copies of Journey <laughs> yeah, exactly. to the Savage Planet. Thanks. <laughs> Buried under them. Um, one thing that's cool about it is it's funny. It's like a comedy game. It's it like is a revival of a witty. comedy game. Yeah, yeah, I so like that. What was that. the last like comedy game that came out? I can't remember I mean, that many. There, there are games there. with like a little comedy flair, yeah. a comedy flavour. Um, what do I think? What was the funniest game of last year? I can't remember laughing oh, at all right. last year. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was no laughter it's in really 2019. Bleak. <laughs> I bet there were a bunch of them, but I'm just uh, yeah. My brain is frazzled by 2020 already, so... But it's cool that they're, they're going for it, so there's little... When you're in your spaceship, you get these little adverts. Engage in fascinating examination of standard Earth activity. Or declare a Black Friday. And send your shoppers into a violent bargain-hunting frenzy where only the strong survive. Do you know what it reminds me of? A little bit like uh, Outer Worlds. Yes. It's that kind yeah, of satirical yeah. uh, corporate space exploration true, yeah, sponsored by is. big mm. businesses who don't care about you at all. Yep. For the eighth year running, Kindred has been voted the fourth best interstellar exploration company by our peers. Uh -huh. And the resulting boost in government funding has allowed us to launch even more happy explorers across undiscovered space. It's that kind of satirical sci-fi stuff. And it's, fu it's, it's got a fun kind of uh, twist on the kind of respawning and stuff. So when you die, a new clone is kind of pumped out and all yeah, this kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. So it doesn't take itself seriously at all. I think it's going to be a really good fun time. There's kind of adorable creatures, which you can Puffer do birds. horrible Puffer things birds. to. Yeah, those um, guys. <laughs> Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just got a really cheery, breezy, funny kind of atmosphere to it. Yeah, it looks good, there. it feels good, mm. um, and yeah, it's, it's got a pleasing vibe all around. I was surprised that 
What? Now, now I'm, I'm going to sound really stupid. Because <laughs> it says Journey to the Savage Planet, I thought there'd be more uh, space flight mm. in it, I suppose, at first blush, before I knew anything about it. Mm. Um, and this was a while, while back, because you mentioned it at the top of 2019. Yes. When it was originally going to come out in 2019. 2019 yeah. And I was like, oh, Journey to the Savage Planet, that's going to involve travelling to mm. said planet. But actually, you, you've pretty much crashed they should have called it Arrival planet. At. Yes. Um, Savage Planet. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but like all good uh, satirical sci-fi space games, you start by crashing yeah. into it. We hope that you will carry the Kendrick Value system in your heart and that one day it will be your planet that will provide a future home for humanity. And then um, very nearly dying. Yeah, and all that kind yeah. Of stuff. So actually it's all on, on housed in this one um, very diverse planet. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, all the weird gravity. It's got kind of floating uh, sort of rocks and like things. Like Avatar. Yeah, it's... It's basically Avatar 2. No, oh, wait! No. That makes it sound That's bad. That's a terrible recommendation. <laughs> also, there's going to be an Avatar 2, yeah, so who knows? Yeah, so you can look forward to that on the 28th of January. Uh, it's coming out on Xbox, PlayStation 4. Did you say 28th? 28th. 28th. 28th is my birthday. It's, it's Mike's birthday. Thanks for clarifying, James. Just to underline that. Cards, the, presents, yep. all Mike's a Capricorn, like yeah. you always suspected. Wait, am I a Capricorn Are you or am Capricorn? I Aquarius? Are you on the cusp? I think I might be on the cusp. <gasps> so you're a water goat. A water goat, yes. Strong, powerful, <laughs> deadly water goat. <laughs> That's mm. me. <laughs> and once more for luck. No, into space. <laughs> it's gone into orbit. Two of them at once. Oh, oh. it's all oh, way down. Didn't Sorry. we hear it's a savage planet? The journey to the savage planet. It's out really soon. Yeah. Really soon. Oh, hey, yeah. and you know what? What? You should you should play it because the company that makes it, the developer, go on, has just been bought by Stadia. They're like now an exclusive Stadia thing. So you, if you want to play their next game, it'll be, only be on Stadia. So oh, there, sorry, I was like, I was yeah. trying to follow your logic, yeah, follow yeah. the breadcrumb trail of Mike's logic. It's my, <laughs> it's my water goat logic, <laughs> Jane. Here's why you should buy this game. <laughs> No, uh, but yeah, kind of, right, kind right, of a bit right, of a key right, for them. Right. They're like a first, now a first party Google Stadia developer. Okay. But the game's still coming out from Xbox. Okay. Okay, okay so this might be your last stuff. chance might to be. play their good works, mm. not on Stadia. Right. Okay. All right. Let's just say that the planet was a whole lot more savage when we were done with it. Oh, speaking of savagery, how about we read some of our YouTube comments? Oh, oh well that's not true. Hey, I happen to like my singing voice. And the grey hoodies are a deliberate style choice. Oh, wait, here are some good ones. With 2019 fading into distant memory and 2020 already making itself at home, our thoughts turn to the months ahead. What will space year 2020 be like? And will there be hoverboards? All right, Mike, that was a clip from the video about things that will definitely happen this year. Yes. Otherwise, video games are liars. Exactly. Would video games lie to us? I don't think so. I think so. Uh, if they do turn out to be liars, then my faith in video games will have been shattered. Yes. I guess I'll just have to find a new hobby. Mm. Maybe billiards. No. Or uh, the other one that's like billiards. But also bar Snooker. billiards. Yeah. Bar billiards. All right, if none of this comes true, we're, we're, we're pivoting, pivoting to, to bar billiards bar next billions. year. All right, All right let's have good. a comment. Ryan Morton says, I am so disappointed you didn't say and beware spoilers ahead for the following year. Oh, we should have said that. Shouldn't we'll we? do it next year when we do probably exactly the same feature. Yeah. Next year. But that would have been, been good. I'd like the idea of avoiding spoilers for the year. <laughs> like, oh no, I don't, don't spoil it for me. I want to know what's going to happen. Turtles in Time also foretells that we'll see a dramatic technological improvement in food on the go, with pizzas delivered by collectible pods that are just strewn across the road. Pizza time. Yeah, that would have been good, Ryan. Hmm better at writing than we are. Yeah. Okay, next comment. <laughs> Chloe S says, 2020 actually has 366 days since it's a leap year. That's a good point. I didn't know that. I'd totally forgotten. It's a whole extra day in this year. Yeah. I think never end. You, should always have, <laughs> you should always have a leap year off. Like you, one in every four years you take off work. Yeah, yeah. You should get that that extra day in February. You should just everyone. No one oh, should not have the to whole year. No, no, no. Okay. No one should have to go to work on the February because, hear me out, right? right? You know, it's they borrow a quarter of a day from each year, right? Is it, that how it works? Yeah, yeah, so they adjust it and that's how it works. The quarter of that day would be between midnight and like 6 a.m., which is your time. John knows that's what I'm talking about. So really? So you should have that day off because it's your time that they're stealing. Stealing, <laughs> I tell you. Who's they? 
The man. Time. <laughs> time. Right, old father time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, father time is stealing your time. All right, everyone, um, if your boss asks, tell them that we said it was okay no. to take we'll write you a note. the 29th of February off work. Unless you work it, unless you're like a paramedic or something. Um, <laughs> there's like people dying in the street. Well, I'm clocking off. Like essential ser <laughs> services. Yeah. Because, I don't know. In which case, take one of the other days off. This is like a, this is like grim foreshadowing. You're going to be like, everyone take it off. And then you're going to like... I'll have a heart attack. You're going to run your bike into a milk float. <laughs> yeah. And then everyone will be like, where are the paramedics? Oh, they all took today off. I'm just saying, if this were an ironic fable. More spoilers for this year. All right. <laughs> yeah. Just... <laughs> No, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> wait. I'm gonna wait and be surprised by what happens to Mike on the 29th of February. All right, next comment. Dryden S says seven is too many. Says the guy of a channel that specialises in lists of seven. Because if 2011 PSP game Seventh Dragon 2020 is to be believed, the city is going to be invaded by dragons and not the good kind that grant you wishes if you collect all seven Dragon Balls. I've got five. Is that not enough? Seven. Honestly, it's too many. All right, this was referring to the Dragon Balls. Right. Because there's seven Dragon Balls. Yeah. And you think that's too many. I, I think I'm, I think I'm, yeah, it's a compelling case. We could do um, the seven best Dragon Balls in Dragon Ball, and then we would just list the, <laughs> number one, the Dragon Ball that's with two stars on it. Yeah. Number two, the Dragon Ball with six stars on it. Yeah. Mix just it, mixed arbitrary, all mixed up. <laughs> arbitrary list. Um, I think seven is too much. I think all our list features should just have one entry from now on. Okay, but do you think it's too many Dragon Balls though? Yeah, both. But you, I mean, you are granted like a literal wish from the dragon if you get But seven. only one. You just find a lamp and you get three. Th that's true, but also finding a l one lamp is harder than finding seven. Is it? Yeah, because there's the seven places that the balls could be. There's yeah, but you one need place all seven. Could be. Yeah, but I mean, it's... You just know. go to where the lamp is. It's that big face in the desert. Yeah, it's <laughs> easy. You can probably see it from Google Maps. The Cave of Wonders are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, that one. Big face in the desert. You, but yeah, if you found the lamp first, you could wish for all seven Dragon Balls. And then you would get them all. Yes! You're making my point for me! Pretend that it made my point, and <laughs> let's move <laughs> okay. on to the next video. Yeah, yeah he's loving it. Oh, yeah. he's loving that. Look, he's getting more into it now. <laughs> yeah. Let's get some moves. started. Uh, what you is get it? the disguise. Oh my god. Oh, yes, look at thank it. you. Uh -huh. This was the Hitman pirate escalation. Yeah, that, that was fun. Where yeah. we were dressed as a pirate. Well, it was mostly fun, apart from the, <laughs> from the point where <laughs> you got a little bit angry. So angry. So angry. It's fine. It's Peek fine. behind the curtain. We had a party to go to. Yeah. So the only thing standing between us, <laughs> us and the party and the party was this was escalation. Gee dang <laughs> escalation. Um, Frodo Baggins says, I love how Andy goes full Mike as soon as he gets the pirate outfit and then immediately faces the consequences for doing so. Arr, you um, scurvy oh, dog. Oh, Arr. You're, no, okay, now Stinky you've made quite a retreat oh, to oh, oh, no guns. You Captain about 47, guns. I'll run you through. Oh, oh no, no run away, run away, Again, run, away. run away, run away, Weave. run away. Run, oh, no. no. Yeah, but you can't be like a, a, a measure. By the rules pirate. Yeah, by the rules pirate. You've got to go out there and buckle some swash. Mm. A swash your buckles. Buckle, like, buckle that swash. Right into everyone's face. They won't yeah. expect it. They'll be like, oh, where's that stealthy 47? And then you like swing in on a rope, going, ha ha, and like yeah. kick them into the sea. But then you do have to deal with the consequences. Yeah, but when you're a pirate, you can deal with the consequences. Mm, that's true. Probably get a little grape shot across the bowels, but you know. It's just a pirate. Occupational hazard part and, being a pirate. Part and yeah, exactly. You probably want to lose a few appendages if you're a pirate. <laughs> yeah. So you're, probably you not taken, you're probably not taken seriously down the pirate tavern yeah. if you don't have at least a peg leg and an eye patch and a hook for a hand. Exactly. You so, walk in all perfect of limbs and they'll be like, <laughs> who's this joker? Yeah, he's clearly not pirating hard enough. Exactly. Uh, Ribbon says, why am I not allowed dressed as a pirate? Asked Standy with a deadly illegal sword strapped to his back. Oh, oh yeah. crime notice! No. Wow, that pirate costume is yeah, it's um, pretty, it's a pretty noticeable. I mean, you, you are. You might just be an island entertainer, you know. Why is everyone noticing me? I'm a pirate. I'm a cool pirate. Yeah, you're here to entertain the guests. Yeah. Or like for the children's club, you know? Mm. Yeah. Like holiday resorts yeah. have a children's club. Jolly, or... Jolly Rogers fun adventures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're gonna take them on a fun That's me. I'm old, jo I'm old Jolly fun Roger. Family-friendly <laughs> piracy. Oh, so everyone had a problem with me being a pirate because of the sword on my back and not because of the pirate outfit. That does somewhat make sense, but then if you're going to do a pirate outfit, you are going to have a sword. Yeah. It why should would make they... it more possible for you to carry a sword around yeah. because you're dressed as a pirate. Because the majority of people would assume it was a prop costume sword to go with your costume. And not one where you could actually run people through, which is what you were doing. With exactly. It. So it's just it's applying the AI routines for actual lethal melee weapons. Fix your rather game. Rather than appropriate for a costume <laughs> melee weapons. 
Say, for example, you see someone at Comic Con right. with like a battle axe. Yeah. Or something. You don't assume it's you, a battle axe. You would assume that is like foam or something, wouldn't exactly. you? You wouldn't go, everyone down, he's got a battle axe. You'd, you'd do nothing else all day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're Everyone's diving under got... the merch stands every oh, five minutes. He's got a real lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, IO. <laughs> Fix your game. <laughs> Fix your game. <laughs> All right, final comment. The Double Helo says, When you sing, I sort of tune out. I don't know how to make the little fire icons, but damn, Jane. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> you didn't look very to find some map pieces, and then I'll have the pieces. I'm going to put them together and have a big map that What's I will follow. What's happening, Andy? Going to find some map pieces. Jane, I'm singing. The song explains oh, everything. Oh, sorry. But, uh, I need when to, you yeah. sing, I sort of tune out. Oh, well, <laughs> that's your mistake, because all of my songs are excellent. Oh. I don't remember Jane saying this. Apparently, she was cruel about my singing. Well, you were tuning out her criticism, so it's, it goes both ways. Oh, OK, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. I so, listen to everything, though. OK. Because I care deeply You're just you're about like, you both. You are too the watcher, just <laughs> yeah. observing humanity from a distance, yes. never interfering. It's, it's fine, you like your singing and it's you were doing a good good piratey song. Yeah, I was. But apparently not everyone enjoyed it. It's fine. <laughs> Karmically you'll probably get yeah. killed in that thunderstorm. Do what you, you want because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Free, is that what <laughs> you call it? Yar, fiddle dee <laughs> Killing some people is alright with me. <laughs> Maybe it was Jane who wrote that original savage comment. That does that we about make earlier. sense, yeah. yeah. Just gotta keep her away from that laptop. Mm. She was on, was on there. I'll go have a word. Some comments and stuff. All right, you do that. I'm gonna moderate some comments. No, gone, off, none of that. Blocked, 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 blocked. That's it for Show of the Week for another week. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm. And before you go, here is a reminder that if you're in the UK, uh, we're going to be at EGX Res, the London Games Convention, mm. in March. So if you're interested, we'll be there doing meetups and live streams from the show floor and a couple of Oxventure Dungeons and Dragons live shows. Yes, tickets are already running low, so you better act now if you want to see us live and in person for action like this. Sort of. <laughs> Woo! And, and spooning into mouths yeah. along the road. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> lats, lats, lats. Oh, would you look at that? It says tickets are no longer running low. Ah, well, even better. All the more, more for you. More tickets. Yeah. Thanks for How watching. How many we'll do you want? Time. Just buy as many as you like. Decorative tickets. I feel like maybe we should like pool our resources for the Netflix ideas and might have a better chance. And yeah, yeah. I've got one for you. How about this? What? Drag race. Drag race. Yeah, it's not like, it's just an actual drag race where I get to drive a oh. drag racing car. What like do you like Channel's drag race. Yeah, exactly. But it's actually a drag race. Yes. We've taken the pun and we've undone the pun yeah. and now it's just drag racing. I'm not hearing Maybe. a no, Maybe. I mean, I'm not saying no, Mike. <laughs> I'm very much not saying no. In yes. Netflix, if, if you're into it, the heat that Mike is bringing is actual drag racing for 2020. <laughs> no one will be in drag. Um, I mean, drag. I might be. <laughs> Will that help? Yeah, maybe. If it helps, oh, The wig's going to be bad for aerodynamics. <laughs>